I study the psychological impact of the developments in assisted reproduction that have taken place since the birth of the first IVF baby, Louise Brown, in 1978. Due to rapid advances in assisted reproductive technologies, new family forms are being created without really anybody knowing what the consequences are for the parents and children involved. We ought to find out whether there are good consequences, bad consequences, or whether it really doesn't make any difference at all. We work very closely with policymakers, and we always have, and our research has had an impact on legislation and policy. The kinds of families we're studying are gay father families, we study single mothers by choice, and also we study donor siblings. Donor siblings are born from the same donor, but are growing up in different families. It typically involves the team going out to visit families in their homes. They carry out observations of each parent interacting with the child. They administer questionnaires. They do psychological tests with the children. So a whole range of methods with all family members. I hope it will change attitudes. I think whenever a new family form is created, the immediate reaction of the public in general is to assume that these families are going to have problems, that there will be difficulties for the children. I hope that our research will help change people's minds and as a result that these families will have an easier time because the problems we find that children have isn't within their family, but it's more the reaction of their wider social world. Mm -hmm.